Okay, part two is now in session. Now, some people are not looking forward to this, and and if you're not, and if you're the, and to the people who's not looking forward to this film, some people, please respect my opinion on it. But I'm pretty, in my opinion, I'm actually looking forward to it. It comes out on September eighteenth, two thousand twenty. And that's the Mitchells versus the Machines. <clears throat> now I'm gonna give this one a a, a shot, cause I could tell the animation is gonna be pretty interesting, and I could tell the there's no voice cast for this film yet, but hopefully we'll get an announcement for that really soon. And I and the plot I. Could be pretty interesting. So yeah, this one could be pretty interesting. As long as they don't mess it up. So yeah. I'm going to give the Mitchells vs. the Machines a chance. <clears throat> and if you're not looking forward to this film, that's fine. I can handle your opinion on it. Okay, now this one's uh, getting more live action, but I'm going to consider this a more of a hybrid, because it will be a hybrid due to the dog, the big red dog, which is Clifford the Big Red Dog, comes out on November 13th, 2020. Now, there's no trailer for this yet, but... And the show itself was pretty meh, in my opinion. But I know it's based off a clip of the Big Red Dog books by Norman Bridwell, who sadly died back in 2014. But still, who knows? Maybe it will be good. Maybe it will be bad. Who knows? I'm going to give this movie a shot if it turns out to be a good film or yeah I have to watch a trailer for it when it comes out to give you guys my <clears throat> my thoughts on it as well okay whoops now this one, this is my number one most anticipated film of next year. And that is Raya and the Last Dragon. Yep, my number one most anticipated movie of next year. The animation looks beautiful and the, the cast is splendid. You got... Aquafina, who's the voice of the dragon, and Cassie Seal, who's Rhea, and the plot is is awesome. This will be Disney's first ever original film in the 2020, and this is going to be a masterpiece. It's true that The Little Mermaid is my favorite Disney film of all time right now, and Alice in Wonderland being my second favorite Disney film, the 1951 animated version, I meant. But what if Ray and the Last Dragon became my third favorite Disney film? That's a high possibility. A 100%, I mean, 100% possibility for that. <clears throat> and it is being directed by Paul Briggs and Dean Wellens. Yeah, I could tell it's going to be really, really, really cool and awesome. But if you're not looking forward to it, that's fine. I can handle your opinion on it. <clears throat> I can't wait for this film when it comes out next November. It's gonna be really, really awesome.
In fact, I might go see it when a day when it comes out on that day. Okay. Mm. Let's start off with Tom and Jerry first. It comes out on December 23rd of next year for next Christmas. And it's based off of Tom and Jerry cartoons. And it's directed by Tim Story. You got Chloe Grace Mor Chloe Grace Mortez, Michael Penna, Colin Johnson, Keon Gion. It was originally gonna come out in April of 2021, but since that the production was doing so well and so good that it actually got pushed up to December of next year. <clears throat> Which I'm excited to see that film. I could tell it's gonna be funny. And, and yeah, it's going to be a really fun film for me to watch for the next holiday season. And finally, the last one. Oh my god. The last film. It comes out the same day as Tom and Jerry is this. The Quotes 2, which is based off of the 2013 film The Quotes. I'm also excited for this film. It's one of my most anticipated sequels of all time along with Coming to the Coming to America sequel. Who knows, maybe it will be better than the original. And I could tell that. And who knows, maybe it will be a great sequel and maybe even better than the first film. And I could, but I could tell the animation will stay true to the original. And I did hear that it did got canceled unfortunately but they decided to revive it and now it's coming out in it was originally come out gonna come out in September until it got pushed back to December of next year so that means it it's gonna come out for the next holiday season instead which I think it's a wise choice. I think it's going to be a good film and sequel to watch. And yep, that concludes my top animated movies of next year. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video once again. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to me. This is Jonathan, the Disney and 64 Zooling fan 2020 here. And I'll see you guys next time on my next video. And I'll see you guys later.